Hey everyone and welcome back. We are going to be working on some beautiful micro interactions. Now we're going to start with this little file uploader that I've started working on. You have a bunch of resources. You can see how this one turns out if you'd like. You can see even the more complex version which I'll show you how I came to animate. But I want to start with this one right here. Now, as you can tell, this is my design file and I'm gonna go through it a bit with you just so you kind of understand what I was thinking as I was building this. Now, I have my details in the top section here in a frame. I just have my controls and I have just a regular control there. This is for the more complex version and I've kind of just left them in there as hidden icons and you can use them if you'd like. I have my text on the left and I have my loader background, which is gonna load. What else do I have here? I have the actual loader. So this is this beautiful stick. All that is is essentially just a stroke. You can see it over here. It's a one pixel stroke. So how do we actually get this working? Now, there's a couple of ways. I'm gonna show you the very quick way to get this working, and then after I will show you how to animate a much more complex version of this because it does get complex if you wanna start showing things like percentages and other controls. So let's take a look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another duplicate right here. I'm gonna make sure that I have nothing prototyped there. Perfect. So I'm gonna make that duplicate right there and we are gonna stop and shrink this as much as possible. So we've shrunk it like that. We're actually gonna do the exact same for this loader line that we have. We'll just hold shift while we bring it all the way back. Perfect, that looks great. And it's just so, because we do have this little bit that we can see here that's kind of annoying. And the thing is you can't create like a zero pixel width shape. And unfortunately that's just kind of one of the downfalls, but we can kind of hack it together a bit. And what I like to do is I like to just kind of select both and I'll, you've seen me do this before, just make it so that they both have a zero opacity. And so the way we link the two is we go into my prototype, we grab, we're gonna want this to actually just start right away. So we'll just do one smart animate in one millisecond on the after delay. And we'll do the exact same over here. We are gonna link this together. And this is where the magic is going to happen. Now we can set this for four seconds or 4,000 milliseconds, and we will have our loader go all the way to the end. So that is the simple way to create a loader. Let's take a look at how it looks. Let's bring that up in scale. Bring the sidebar in here. So that's how you create a file loader. And the thing is, when I actually think about a file loader, it's not about actually creating something that looks exactly like how we expect an animation to happen. So right now we have on ease out. You can even just set it to linear, like I just did and watch. That is more in relation to what we expect when something is loading. It's going to just be a straight line. It's not going to come in faster. It's not going to come in slower. It's going to just go from zero to a hundred percent really quickly. Let's take a look one more time. Beautiful. So if you're designing along with me or prototyping along with me, this is really easy to do. 
and you can showcase this pretty easily to your team and to some clients on some interactions that you're really thinking through. And in our next video, we're actually gonna go in and look at how I made a more complex version of this.